I would like to say here that I am having the most disgusting peach that I have had in millennia. It's disgusting. It tastes like rubber. It's gross. I hate it. Not only that, when I went to cut it open, the, the pit was in half and there was, it looked like there was shit in the middle of my peach. It looked like there was dog shit in the middle of my peach. Um, I think this peach cost me four dollars. I'm not sure. And um, it's the most disgusting thing I've, uh, the most disgusting piece of fruit that I've eaten since 1792. Thank you. You are listening. Hello. Hi. That's so crazy. I know that it's crazy. That's why I do it. This is show number 35 of the Lesbian Mafia. And I am your host, Sandy. Shalo. How are you? What are you doing? What are you guys doing? I'm just here kind of winding down my night. Um... What's happening? I don't know. What's happening with you? My life is pure shit for the past couple weeks, so I don't even want to begin to, to actually this is this decade. This entire decade has been shit. So I don't I don't even want to begin to talk about my disgusting problems. Let's talk about things that are much more fun like the fact that when I was online today I saw that Sarah Jessica Parker's husband, they said, uh, was cheating on her with someone uh, much younger, which to me is hilarious. I mean, you have to be self-destructive if you're going to go and do that to Sarah Jessica Parker. You know what I can't stand about people who cheat? Let me let me just say what I can't stand about. It's like, if you don't want to be with the person that you're with, just fucking say it. Don't go and cheat. Like, that's so, like, I mean, I just, I don't understand it, but... Um, you know, some people are just self-destructive and when they get something good, they, you know, can't help but destroy it. Like, I guess, Matthew Broderick. I mean, Sarah Jessica Parker, I'm, I've seen her on a few interviews. I don't know what she's like in a relationship, but she's a, a, a darling woman. She has a fantastic, airy, feminine personality. Um, very intelligent, very uh, good actress. She's, I mean, like, who would want to mess, uh, Matthew Broderick? Like, what do you think you're 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 gonna do better than her? Maybe you'll get someone ten years younger. Uh, but if that's what you want, you know, then go ahead. I guess some people just want to feel superior, so the age just gives you that natural superiority in a way. I mean, it's not, you know, a real superiority, but there is that sense of, you know, that you're in some kind of club when you're a little older. That you know, people who are younger want to be in, I guess, um, until they get there. And then you realize that all it means is more visits to the doctor. Um, but I'm fascinated by these men that cheat on these women that m most people would love to be with. Um, which is why I love Madonna, because she just ups and leaves, you know, every so often. She's just like, all right, I'm done here. <laughs> I've had enough of smelling your ass every day. I'm on to something else. And she doesn't give a shit. What is Madonna 50? She doesn't give a fuck. You think that she thinks, oh, I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life. I don't think she cares. And that's what I love about Madonna is that she just does not give a fuck. She's so, like, she just doesn't need to be in a relationship. She'll do it for probably the sake of uh, her children, maybe. Like, she'll do it. But you know that she doesn't need to be in a relationship. And that's why I love Madonna. I know a lot of people have mixed feelings about her, but um, I love her because there's so many of these, you know, wonderful women that just throw themselves in relationships with people who just do not deserve them. And these men that are just going to cheat on them like ill. And then what if he brings something home to you? What are you? And then you can't stab him. Is this fair? Is this that someone could go out and cheat, bring you home a disease, and then you can't stab them? Is that right? That's not right. That there's something wrong with the law. There's something wrong with we have to fix the torts.
if someone gives you brings home an STD after you've been married for wh- however long, you know, I don't know how long they were married, but if you've been married for a certain amount of time and, you know, et cetera, and they bring home some shit, some filthy shit from the streets, they bring that shit home into your bed. Could you imagine being like Sarah Jessica Parker being that age? Like, you know, being like a woman, a sophisticated woman of some maturity, and then you're dealing with a guy that wants to run around with, you know, teeny boppers, and then he brings home some dirty shit. To, you can't stab him? What kind, of, what kind of world are we living in where you can't stab someone who gives you an STD? <laughs> I don't understand. I don't understand it. I don't understand it. But, you know, call Madonna what you will, but... If anyone's going to be <laughs> given the STD, it's going to be Madonna. <laughs> She's not going to be the victim. Okay? And this is why I'm so terrified to get into a relationship again. Because you just... Oh, my God. God forbid, knock on wood. You know, like, you just don't know. And if you have health concerns already, and then somebody brings some crap to you, like, I mean, it's just, like, it boggles the mind. The thought of, of being with someone and trusting them right and falling in love and trusting them and you know y- you share meals with these people you share a bedroom you share a bed the same sheets you know like you share everything together you talk every day and you think that you're with someone who's being honest and then you find out that they're cheating on you i just don't know i guess the whole point is that they it, it's a betrayal if they're telling you then it's not a secret and the whole point is to have secrets because that's what, that's what, um, well, yeah, so I guess the whole point of cheating is that they're not going to tell you, right? How stupid am I? Am I stupid? So I'll just remain single because apparently I'm very stupid. I've just had a breakthrough. <laughs> Whoa, breakthrough. I've just had a breakthrough here. Uh, and that's that I am stupid. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I'm, uh, I've am i never, ever technically, physically cheated on someone in my entire life. And I've never done that. I just, I've always, like, when I was done, <laughs> that was it. I said it. I think we're done here. You know? And it didn't always work out into, you know, in my favor by being that direct. But I couldn't have lived with myself any other way. How do you go and sleep in someone else's bed and then come home to the per? I don't like. I just don't understand. I just wish that I could be that removed, because it must be nice to be able to do that. What am I talking about? I don't like cheating. Um, how hard is it to say how you feel? You say to the person, you know what? Your fucking face gives me fucking agita. Your face makes me makes my fucking bowels clog up or the opposite your face gives me the fucking runs i feel like i have to go every time i look at your face i want to go fucking take a shit on the toilet that's you know who needs laxatives when i could look at your fucking face every night you know like have some balls say how you really feel say how you feel liberate yourself from the need to be a liar and a cheater all right um i guess i will exit exit the speaking arena at this particular moment because I'm feeling completely, uh, I'm, I think I'm starting to actually have an anxiety attack. I'm not sure why. Yeah. Anyway, so, uh, I'm starting to feel strange. Starting to feel like a stranger. All right. Well, I just had a little bit of a conversation here and I will uh, play this for you and then I will end the show. Okay. Oh, oh, and I'll be featuring music by Sarah Greenwood's band GSX at the end of this podcast. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Or you could fast forward now if you really wanted to to do that. You know, it's your choice. It's your choice. You think I care? You think I'm going to take things personally? What do you think I'm like you? Did I take everything personally? You could fast forward now. Skip the whole show just to hear the music. What do you think I care? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Make sure that you stay tuned to the end. I have a feeling you're really going to love her. Okay.